So another proof here, we're looking at x is equal to y. Looking at what I've been given here, I notice I actually have a parallelogram. Two parallel lines, two sets of parallel lines on a four-sided shape. And there's an important rule that we just proved. I'm not sure you noticed as we did it though. Opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal. And just to remind you of that, that was this one we did here. Inside this parallelogram we, re we proved that A and B were equal and that X and Y were equal. So opposite angles inside of the parallelogram are equal. You could add that here if you want. Op angle in parallelogram equal. So we might end up using that rule down here. It is a rule that you can use. So I notice that x and y, I'm trying to relate them, and they're both outside of the parallelogram. So maybe if I can connect them somehow inside of it, that will help. So if I look at this part of the shape first, I see angles on a straight line, and I might be able to say that angle CAB, this one here, CAB, is equal to 180 degrees minus y, because angles on straight line equal 180. So I could say here that this is 180 minus y, that angle there. Now I can say that angle CAB is equal to angle CDB over here. My reason for that is the rule we just looked at, opposite angle in parallelogram equal. And here I've got my connection. Going a little bit further, I notice that um, I'm getting close. I could say that angle CDB is equal to 180 minus x. So here I've got a few connections, bits that are coming together. I see that Angle CAB is equal to this thing here, so I should be able to replace CAB with that. And I see that CDB is equal to this one, so I should be able to replace the equation with that, knowing that these are equivalent expressions. So I can actually write, therefore, 180 minus y is equal to 180 minus x minus 180 from both sides. We get minus y equals minus x times everything by negative 1 and you get x is equal to y. Okay, another potential way to go about doing that um, might be to rearrange so that they're both equal to the same thing and then you can do some substitution. But again, there's more than one way to do a proof. This is one of the ways that will work for you. Again, I've given my reasons. I've labeled my angles clearly and gotten to the answer that they were looking for.